We're going to go over a few things that make arena football a fast-paced and exciting game. Let's start by talking about the arena you're playing in. The AFL field is 50 yards long and surrounded by dasher boards on all four sides. The dasher boards are considered inbounds. A ball carrier in contact with the boards is still considered in. There are four hash marks on the field. The ball will always be spotted on the closest hash mark to where the ball was considered down. If down in the center, the ball is spotted on the left or the right, depending upon the throwing arm of the quarterback. The end zones are backed by the tall gold side rebound nets. A ball rebounding off the net from a kick or a pass is considered a live ball and open for reception by either team. The uprights in the AFL are narrow. A field goal can be kicked from any point on the field. There is no putting in the AFL. However, any kick that falls short of the upright or the net can be returned. Now let's talk about the players and the positions. An AFL team has eight players on the field that play Iron Man style. They play both offense and defense. You'll notice the movement when the ball is snapped. That's okay. In the AFL, one of the wide receivers may be in motion as long as he isn't offside. The linebackers' movements, on the other hand, are very limited. Their movement is restricted by containing them in the defensive box, an area on the field between the two outside linemen and five yards behind the line of scrimmage. This emphasizes the passing side of the AFL, creating a faster, higher scoring game. There are two linebackers in the AFL, the Jack and the Mac. They must line up on the right or the left based on the tight end in the offensive formation. Only the Mac linebacker can rush the quarterback on a blitzing play without first being released from the box. And he can only rush on either side of the center, never around the end. Otherwise, a linebacker can only leave the box under certain circumstances. A run, a pump fake, or if the quarterback leaves the pocket. Also, a linebacker can leave the box if the tight end or the fullback goes into a passing route. The lineman also has some restrictions. Nose guard must line up helmet to helmet with the center and use man-to-man -man techniques. No stunting or twisting is allowed. There are a few other regulations that affect the game. The quick pace game of the AFL has a game clock that never stops during play until the last minute when the final minute rules come into effect. An AFL game is designed to keep things moving forward, even during a kick return. If you fail to attempt a kick return, you will be penalized. One last thing, there are no ties in the Arena Football League. All games go to overtime where both teams have a chance at possession. If the game is tied in OT after both teams have had a possession, then the game goes to sudden death. Got all that? Good. Watch the tutorial again for a refresher if you need it. See you on the field. Yeah, I'm the best. Can't touch this. Uh.